Okay, so as far as those struggles, I guess, as far as a delegation, what did you like? What resources did you use to actually hire, or are you hiring right now? What does that look like? I'm getting ready to look to hire. I haven't hired yet, but I am gonna look to hire. Um, I know a website. Um, it's ph online jobs at ph. Yep, 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 yep. So yeah, I'm kind of there looking for some okay. people and interviewing them. So yeah. Okay, most definitely. And anybody that's been a long term listener to my podcast, they know I always say online jobs are pH. So I'm gonna just say okay. I ain't pay I ain't pay you to say online jobs are <laughs> nah. you know I'm saying? I didn't know so you we knew about have... it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So I mean, people need to definitely go to online jobs at pH, get you a VA, mm -hmm. start, you know, just automate your system so you could focus on stuff like creating content. You know what I'm saying? Things like that. So yeah, definitely. So what would you say has been good as far as your business? Maybe it's through getting leads or just methods to get deletions. My audience is big on consumer law, so we understand FCRA and things yeah, like that. Okay. So yeah. So for me, I would say I'm gonna be honest. Like for me, it was like when I first started, I was using credit repair cloud. So yeah. very basic. Like people who want to start off, if you got the money or you got maybe even if you just got $200 to spare for 30, it's free for 30 days, right? So if you just got $200 for the following month, like use a credit repair cloud because when I first started and the way I was taught is not the same way I do it now. So I was taught a different method. Now I do use consumer laws and I do factual disputing as well. So for me, that's very, very important. Okay, got you. Do you still use credit repair cloud or? um not consistently not not really honestly not not like that like I mean I have before like in the last 60 days but it's not like my go-to anymore okay got you so what does your process look like are you instructing the letters from scratch do you have templates you start with or what does that look like um for me I actually just created the the letters on my own so I pretty right. much unless somebody has like a special case like I pretty much do like Round one, this is how the letter would be. Round two, yeah. this is how it would be. So I do uh, templates that I made myself. Okay, got you. Yeah. Okay, let's say, let's say I'm somebody, I'm watching this. Let's say I'm a young, young black girl. I'm looking at you. I'm just like, okay, you know, Shavana, her story is inspiring me. I want to start my own credit repair business. What are just some tips that you would give to her? Maybe as far as content and things like that. Okay, so I would say first learn the laws and um the laws. Research. Huh? Which laws? Which which laws in particular? Um FCA RA, you need to learn all of them, especially like um factual disputing law. Like you need to learn it's it's a lot, you know, but honestly just take the time out before you start posting and promoting and actually learn them. So once you learn them, then I feel like you should I feel like scheduling is important. Like make a schedule like okay, today I'll learn one law tomorrow. I'll try and do also um, get people that are close to you that you can use. First of all, you know, like family members or yep. close friends. So yeah. once you learn some laws, you know, find some people that you close with and start trying on them first. And then also I would say like scheduling, like make a schedule. Don't just wake up and not know what's going on. And I'm just saying it's from my own perspective. Like I would be like, okay, today I'm going to do this, this and this, but it wasn't written down. So I didn't always accomplish everything, you know? So I would say scheduling your content for sure. And just post tips, even if you don't know everything, you can literally look up stuff and then post tips for people. Cause the thing is, we think that everybody know what we know, but they don't. So you can post something that, you know, people don't know about. And that's how people will be like, okay, she kind of knows she's talking about. Like, let me follow up. Let me see what's going on. So yeah, for me, that I think that's important if you're starting out learning the laws and just posting tips. Definitely. Definitely. So it seems like you're big on Instagram. That's kind of what you said. Is there is that like your favorite platform to promote or what would you say is your favorite? Um, I would say when I first started, it was Instagram for me, but now I'm kind of leaning more towards TikTok. Gotcha. Yeah, I would say TikTok. Okay. I really have like a following over there and I just feel like people are more interactive. For me, my Instagram is like most of those people I know personally, like not all of them, but like a lot of them. So I don't know. I feel like for me, I don't really want to work with people that I know because they don't really take stuff serious. Honestly. Gotcha. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. So you're basically saying like everyone you grew up with, like they just ain't on nothing is basically what you're saying. They on something, like. but oh, okay. they on it legally. Like a lot of them got money. They got, they got money. They got oh, I, get, I, get, I get what you're saying. Okay. I don't got to say too much. I get what you're saying. Yeah. yeah. Gotcha. 
Got you, got you. Okay, so TikTok is uh booming. Anywhere else that you um, like to promote? I used to do Facebook, but not anymore. I got too many spams and stuff like that. So I don't really do Facebook anymore. But I'm getting ready to drop an ebook though, and I'm probably gonna just post it everywhere just for people who are skeptical about paying somebody to do their credit and they might just want to do it themselves. So yeah, I'm gonna probably post that everywhere. Got you. So when is that ebook dropping? It'll be dropping actually by Saturday. I'll be dropping it. Oh, you drop okay. So by the time this podcast comes out, it will be out. You wanna talk about that ebook a little bit? Okay, so the ebook is just it's like a simple ebook for people who have no idea about credit. So it'll be talking about the basic laws, um, how to dispute what a good credit profile looks like because people think that you need a good credit score but it's not yeah. about the score it's about the profile because right. you can find somebody who got a 700 and you might have a 680 or a 650 and you might get approved for something that they get denied for so it's you know pretty much talking about structuring your profile as well and mm -hmm. you know what to do if something doesn't come off because people get discouraged if it doesn't come off the first time or mm -hmm. even maybe the second time so um it's just like the basics like fundamentals of credit Okay, definitely. So they'll be able to get that through your IG. Is that where are you mainly? TikTok, IG? Both. I would say I post, I post everywhere though, right? Yeah. So wherever wherever yeah, they can. I haven't really been posting on fake um on uh Instagram lately. I've been kind of okay. posting on TikTok, but I'm getting ready to start posting like just the same video on both platforms. I'm gonna do it like that. Okay. So yeah, both. Okay. Okay, so they'll be able to get it through the link in your bio. Mm hmm The link in my bio. On my TikTok and on my Instagram. Okay, got you. So you have you're gonna have the ebook, which is a digital product. You have your done for you credit repair services as well. You said that you got um one of your clients funding, business funding, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so you do you provide funding services as well as credit cleanup. Are there any any other additional services that you provide? Um, I mean, I pretty much help them structure their credit profile to be able to get funding. Okay. So if somebody wanted to work with you, how would that process go? Do they just DM you or how does it, how does it even work? They can DM me, honestly. Yeah. If somebody want to work for me and they serious, then yeah, you can with you. You said they work for you or work with you? Oh, they can work with me. Oh, uh, okay. 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 Cause you said work for you. <laughs> nah, nah, okay. work, work with me. Okay. Got you. Got you. And you reply to your DMs basically. Yeah. Okay. 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 So somebody got like, eight collections, all these bankruptcies, stuff like that, you, they just DM you and then they'll be able to tap in. Yeah, Or don't DM me. Click the link in my bio and schedule a consultation. Uh, yeah. Okay, that's what I was trying to get to. Uh, okay. Like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, I get what you mean. Like, work with me. Okay, yeah. Click yeah, the link yeah, yeah, in my yeah. bio, schedule a consultation. And, and if you're going to schedule a consultation, please be available. Don't schedule it and you're not available. I'm, it's based off your availability, you know, not mine. So, gotcha, yeah. gotcha, gotcha. So do you do you see like a lot of no shows? Is that why you're saying that? Um, I've had some in the past, and and okay. it's people who will literally like book multiple, like one, two, and I'm like, okay, you know, if you ain't available, you're not available. That's cool, but stop booking. Yeah. So yeah, somebody yeah. Told me, somebody in business told me like stop doing free consultations, but okay. I I changed it for a week, and I was like, nah, I don't want to do that to people, you know, but. I don't know. Like, I haven't been having no shows lately, but in the past, I used to have some no shows. Got you. Got you. Yeah. And no, I feel I feel like with credit, it's obviously one of those industries where there's always certain situations, but most cases it's something with their finances. So I feel like they might not take it as seriously. So we've seen a lot of no shows as well. And we just straight up started saying, like, if you got to rebook, we're going to charge you fifty dollars to rebook. Right. So, yeah, yeah. So that kind of decreased our no show. no show so yeah yeah so i think that's definitely important 